want to say hello to everybody and uh, club builders of the world, which we are all a part of. And uh, hopefully this will help all of us grow the business and uh, in the shrinking golf business. The club building section is hopefully getting bigger. So let's see what we can do to help each other. Start, I'd like Simone here ahead and start this. All right. Uh, thanks for joining us, everyone, tonight. Uh, so we're going to get right into it. Had a few things on my screen here. All right. So uh, hopefully most of you guys watched the video uh, that was posted on your website, so you guys can have an idea what we're going to talk about. Uh, but we've developed a new machine for shaft profiling. We call it the Shaft Simulation System. Uh, it was designed by Mark, and I uh, kind of brought it to life. And we're going to talk about it tonight and show you guys how uh, this machine is going to revolutionize the shaft industry. So a quick outline of, uh, of what we're going to cover tonight. So we're going to start uh, with a brief in introduction, uh, kind of go over the history about the machine and how it came to be. Then we're going to jump right into uh, the in-depth analysis of what it tests, how it tests, uh, and how to interpret the results and why they're important. Then we're going to switch gears and start looking at the database uh, because this machine spits out a tremendous amount of data. Uh, so we're going to walk you through how we look at it uh, and what we can do with that data. Uh, and then we're going to give you guys a sneak peek as to uh, what else we're working on uh, and some things you'll be able to see uh, at the upcoming PGA show. Uh, so we're going to open up for questions uh, every once in a while. So if you have any questions, please hang on to them. Uh, we're looking forward to answering those tonight. And uh, Mark will jump in if ever uh, I forget to say something. That's okay. Yep. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, you want to talk about the history a little bit at this point or not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, obviously, a lot of you guys know I've had the hot sticks for years and obviously went to uh, uh, cool clubs and you know, hot sticks technology at some point did shaft testing, club testing, and a bunch of other things. And you know, the shaft testing part of it was pretty interesting. Um, we sold that data to some of you guys, um, so they understood the EI curves and, and testing, uh, to a lot of the shaft manufacturers and some of the OEMs. Um, the difference is this is seven years later and the world has sort of changed. Um, I had this idea for the machine probably six, seven years ago, um, but actually need an engineer to help build the thing. I mean, uh, what we did at Hot Sticks Technologies was we had you know five or six machines that measured this stuff. It took about almost an hour to measure one shaft. Um, so obviously, as some of you know, I had a little bit of time off between the jobs. So I <laughs> kind of thought about different things and do things faster and, and cooler and stuff. So I came up with the idea of coming up with one machine that did all of it and much, much more quickly, which you'll see shortly. Um, that's kind of where the idea came from. Um, like I said, years ago, this was something we had an online version, whatever, that cost and, uh, everybody money, and it was ex very expensive to do, and then and obviously cost a fair amount in labor, taking almost an hour to one shaft. Um, this machine, as you'll see, does it in 100 times or 1,000 times what that did in a couple of minutes. Uh, the idea of this is really to help club fitters everywhere, and it's not to suggest that with an online or an app or an app or whatever, you can suggest shafts to people need to use specifically, but the idea is actually to make sure that people see people that know what they're doing to do it. So the idea is not to say, when you swing this fast, you need this shaft. The idea is to say, here's some shafts you need to go see somebody about um, who's an expert to figure out which one works and try it. So that's the general idea of the whole concept here. You know, you know, up here. Yeah, so, so as Mark said, uh, back when they were doing testing, I took almost an hour to do a shaft. Uh, because a lot of it was done by hand, uh, there was room for human error in there. You know, if someone didn't quite move the shaft along correctly or didn't select the right clamp length. Uh, so we're looking to build this machine that would do all this uh, fully automated uh, and let us compare all the shafts in the same terms. Uh, and ultimately, that helps us here at Cool Clubs now uh, help our customers play better golf. Uh, so Mark's had this idea for a while. We're backtracking. That's okay. Yeah, we're backtracking a little bit. I get ahead of myself. Uh, so I was finishing uh, school in Canada and uh, in uh, mechanical engineering, and Mark brought me on to kind of make his idea a reality. So that was in March 2013. I met Mark for the first time, uh, and by May of that year, we started prototyping. 
So in May, at the beginning of May, the idea was basically a, a drawing on a piece of paper, and we spent the next month or so uh, preparing all the CAD work for it, so sourcing all the components that we were going to use, uh, you know, talking to machinists, doing all the programming behind the machine, uh, and within six months, so uh, by October of that year, we were testing. Uh, and by November, we had kind of decided that, well, we're going to use these standards now, and we have perfected uh, how we're testing shafts. And we've spent the last year uh, actually collecting data and figuring out what to do with all this data because there's so much of it. Uh, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. Uh, so as you guys probably saw from the video, uh, this is the machine, what it looks like. Uh, it's fully automated, five machines in one. And uh, just for information, a lot of what you're going to see here, we have uh, provisional patents uh, on a lot of it. A table to test any shaft. And uh, without further ado, we're going to jump right into uh, the data here. And how it works. Anyone have any questions before we start on this? Yeah. I mean, does anyone have any questions before we, uh, about the history and how it came to be before we start really looking at uh, what it does and how it tests it? Uh, nope, no hands yet, so you guys can uh, move right along. Good, it'll get more complicated from here. <laughs> <laughs> the easy part's over. All right, so uh, from the video most of you, or hopefully most of you watched, uh, you can see that it tests five things. The first of which is the shaft straightness. So not only the deflection at the tip of the shaft, uh, but any bowing or bending or S-shaped curves the shafts might have, we're able to pick that up. Uh, as well, the consistency analysis, which tells us a lot about the quality of the manufacturing uh, and how consistent the shaft is going to play depending on which, which way it's installed in the head. As well, the deflection and the EI profiling, uh, which is really unique uh, and I think a lot of you guys are going to find interesting. As well, we do frequency uh, testing, but on multiple planes, again, to get an idea of how consistent the shaft is. And finally, torque, uh, which is most, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with. So we're going to start with the first one, is, uh, is the shaft straightness. Uh, so this is, uh, this is the start of the, the first test, obviously. So uh, using the software, you would insert the club in the machine, tell it what kind of shaft it is, and literally press start. That's all you have to do. So there's, you can see from this image that there's no chuck on the end of the shaft. Uh, we just test it as is, uncut length. So the first thing the machine does is it uses the high resolution optics system, which is located over top of the machine, and it actually looks down the shaft and produces images like you see here. Uh, we use backlighting behind the shaft, uh, and the reason we do that is so that we get a good crisp image of the shaft regardless of its finish, whether it has a metallic or a matte finish, and regard, regardless of its color, whether it's you know, white, black, it has a bunch of different colors, it doesn't matter. Uh, so that was important to us to get the lighting just right. We went through a few iterations before we got that. Once we have uh, the image, it goes through some processing and software. Uh, this is done to make sure that we're able to detect the edge accurately. Uh, and as well, it gives us a black and white image, which is easier to work for, work with from a programming side of things. Uh, once the image is at this point, we're able to track the top and bottom edges of the shaft. Uh, and each edge is actually composed of about 25 to 3,000, uh, 2,500 to 3,000 data points each. So by the time we've averaged that, uh, well, we're, we're using almost 6,000 points of data were just for measuring straightness. Uh, and we're able to measure straightness within about five thousandths of an inch of accuracy. So here we see an example of some of the output that you get. So this is obviously not a straight shaft. Uh, here you're looking at uh, that blue line is the shaft and we actually test the shaft on several different planes. Uh, the reason we do this is because when you're looking at an image, you're only looking at uh, a two-dimensional view of the shaft. So it is possible for the shaft to be bent in a way that you can't see from a 2D image. Uh, so we rotate around in 360 degrees, take multiple images uh, to make sure we get a full profile and pick up any bending. Uh, so this shaft was obviously uh, pretty bent.